In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a really effective match defense that you can utilize to slow down the bunch offense in Madden 23. Now, if you want to learn more about match coverage, I have an entire match coverage defensive ebook that will teach you the principles of how match works against pretty much every formation in the game, as well as how to adjust those principles to make match better for you. So if you want to get that full, uh, that full ebook on match coverage, make sure you join our Patreon. The link will be down in the description below. All right, guys, so we're gonna be going over the 3-3 Cub, and if you didn't know this by now, the Cover 4 Show 2, we're gonna set that as an audible, the Cover 4 Show 2 is a match coverage defense, okay? Um, now, we're gonna be audibling into this from the 3-3. Now, if you wanna learn more about the 3-3 Cub defense, um, we have a full ebook on that in the Patreon as well. You get everything by becoming a member. All of the ebooks, all the updates, everything. So uh, we're going to be coming out in nickel 3-3. We're going to be audibling into Cover 4 Show 2 to set this up. And this is in the 46 defensive playbook. Now, the main coaching adjustment that you want to make sure that you have set in your coaching adjustments is you just want to make sure that your zone coverage is set to match. If you're on current gen, this doesn't apply to you. You're already going to be on match. Okay? All right. So I'm going to show you very simple match coverage defense here. Uh, I'm going to run a couple different plays out of bunch to, to show you um, how effective this is. I'm going to set flood as an audible. I'm going to have bench pivot. And then we're just going to come out in uh, curl flat, for example. Now the setup is actually fairly straightforward. All we're going to do is we are going to um, audible into cover four show two. We are going to really important. We're going to shade our coverage outside and we're going to shade our coverage underneath. Okay. So as you can see your shade outside and we're going to shade underneath from there, we're going to basically bring this user defender down here. We're going to blitz our user. And then we are going to take this linebacker um, on the right side, and he is going to be manned up onto the tight end. This is going to help us stop really any bomb that they could potentially run against us. And then what I like to do as well is we're going to put a deep half on the bunch side only when the bunch is to the wide side of the field. Okay, um, If the bunch was to the short side of the field, the deep half is really not going to be very helpful uh, for our defense. Okay. So we want to put that safety on uh, a deep half when they're to the wide side of the field. And then on the left side, what I like to do is simply take um, this outside defender on the left to kind of help protect against the C route a little bit. You could put him in an outside third. The other thing you can also do though, um, is you could easily just put, just leave it like this. Let me show you why. Because we shaded our coverage outside, this C route, it can still get open, but it's going to get open a lot less. So here you see, here's the C route. Um, it does technically get open, but I have deep out zone knockout. I've got a chance to knock that out. Okay. And if I run this, you know, 10 out of 10 uh, times, it's not going to be 100% consistent, right? They're going to, we're going to stop some and they're going to complete some. Okay. So you'll see here, if I run this again, now I have short out elite, so I've got a route running ability. That time it wouldn't have been open. I wouldn't have been able to throw that. So just keep that in mind. You can keep the quarter over there if you want to. If you want to guarantee that this is not going to be able to be a C route throw against you, then go ahead and outside third that corner. Okay. But the main adjustment is to man up that tight end and to make sure that before you do that, you have shaded outside and underneath. Because if you man him up afterward, now he's in shaded down man. It's not going to be the end of the world, but anyway. Okay. Now, what this does a really good job of, and really the main reason to run this defense anyway, is to try to stop a corner route to the right. So I'm not going to go to the right side. I want to defend essentially in this little box right here, and that's the whole design of this defense. So what you'll see is if they throw a corner route to the right, the match coverage is going to defend this really, really well. Now, hopefully they don't catch it when you have a guy right there with deep out zone knockout, but... You know, trust me, you're going to get more stops than you're not. Okay. So again, man the tight end up with that linebacker. And then from here, I like to crash out. You want to blitz your user. The reason you want to blitz your user is because it's going to improve your sheds in this defense. Now, uh, the next thing that I want to go over with you is this verticals bomb uh, and why we deep half. So uh, this is a bomb. Basically, you just streak this guy. And what you'll see here is if he, in this example, actually didn't work. And sometimes when you man that tight end up, 
the bomb isn't as bad as it is if you don't, okay? By manning this tight end up, sometimes this will actually play fairly decent. So I'll show you again. Just streak circle. You see how he kind of gets caught in the muck. And, you know, it's not really there, okay? Now I want to show you what this looks like if I don't man up that tight end. You'll see pretty quickly why um, there's a lot of value in manning up the tight end. So if I don't man up the tight end... Um, you're going to notice that this streak on the right side is going to be a touchdown pretty much every time. If you're playing someone that knows what they're doing in bunch, that's the first thing they're going to do whenever they see that you're in match coverage. So what you want to do is man the tight end up. Now, this is the only adjustment. I'm not going to deep half, and I want you to see, again, the difference. So just by manning the tight end up, that's the only change. They're going to get a little bit of a wonky alignment. Now, this still can beat you over the top, okay? And that's why we deep half. But it's definitely much less effective when we go to something like this. So, um, man the tight end up. And then I really like the hard flats. Um, I don't like quarter flats in this game. I feel like quarter flats don't play very well. If you want to keep the quarter flat on the bunch side, be my guest. You better not keep the quarter flat on the, on the running back side. That needs to either be a curl flat or a hard flat okay so you can see you can kind of simplify some of these adjustments but the beauty of this is any corner route from this bunch formation is going to get matched really well you see there they're not going to be able to throw the corner route to the right side um, with that guy either okay and then we do have the tight end manned up and i will say the only time that that actually i think gives us any kind of drawback is when they want to put the tight end on a corner route. So if they run this bench pivot play and they try to do something like like uh, like this, for example, you'll see here this tight end, he will get matched in that example, but I'll show you one real quick here where sometimes he doesn't get matched. So um, if I man him up, because when you man someone up in match coverage, it kind of communicates to the, to the, other, uh, the other 10 players on the field that, they don't need to worry about him in a match concept. So what you'll see here is he's manned up. Now this time, you see how that outside quarter didn't play him? Okay, so that's why it's important also to shade outside. Because when you shade outside, you're going to have a little bit more success. Now if they're consistently beating you with a tight end on a corner route, okay, then instead of manning up the tight end, my advice would be to man up the slot receiver with that linebacker. That linebacker can kind of be mix and matched as you need him to be, because um, you'll see right here. If now I'm now I don't have the tight end manned up, but I have the slot manned up. Watch what happens. You're going to see the match coverage is now going to play the tight end, right? Again, he's got to animate and play, but he's going to play the tight end. So you can kind of go in between as they as they're showing you different things. Um, you know, you can kind of adapt this. This is a very um, when you understand how match concepts work, you can start to understand, okay, I can adjust with this guy, but I can't adjust with that guy. Notice that Taysom Hill with short and elite is cooking my man-to-man -man concept. So I've got to make an adjustment, right? So the adjustment would be, okay, and this time we're going to man up the slot receiver. Or if we're really, you know, let's say that we're worried about the verticals bomb, but we don't want to have to deep half, we can just man up the circle receiver and not have to deep half. Now, if they run the bench pivot play or if they run the verticals bomb, they're going to be in a you know a pretty bad situation, as you can see right here. So these are some best practices for running match coverage against bunch. You want to try to keep things as simple as you can on the defensive side of the ball. And if you want to learn a little bit more as to why this defense is so good and how you can adjust and adapt with this defense against everything in the game, every formation in the game, Make sure that you're in our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member. It gets you access to everything, all the eBooks, all the updates. Uh, so if you want to sign up for that Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.